Hey everyone, Sheree here. Today I've got the new Felicity Jane Margot kit. It's just arrived on my doorstep, so I thought we'd take a peek. Oh, these are the new notebooks that we have in the shop, so we'll have a look at those a little bit later. But let's open this up and take a look inside. There's Margot herself. Super cute. Okay. So we've got lots of things here, stamps, colourful alphabet stickers, all sorts of goodies. We've got some washi tape as well. Alright, so I'll get everything out of the box and we'll take a closer look. Alright, here we have everything from the Margot kit. As you can see, the colours are really soft and pretty. I love the pinks and the greens and the mix of blue in there as well. Let's just take a closer look at a couple of the things that don't need to come out of their packs. So we have the Margot chipboard alphabet stickers here. This is such a fun font. I love that it's a mix of colours for each letter. We have multiples of each uppercase letter here on the back. We also have some punctuation marks as well. So that is going to look so awesome as titles on all sorts of different projects. We also have the Margot stamp set. I love this one. This is going to be so fun to play with. We've got some hexagons here and some circles. We also have some little half stamps as well so you can layer them on top of each other. I cannot wait to see what everyone does with this stamp set. So that is the Margot stamp set. We also have a really pretty washi tape here. It's that lovely soft pink and there's a really subtle grid on that as well. A bit hard to see in the footage there because of the light, I think, but it's a really pretty, really versatile washi tape and I love the colour of that one. All right, so we've got some other things here I need to take out of their packs, so I will do that and be back in a moment. All right, here we have the Margot Vellum numbers. There are 10 numbers included, so we have one through nine and the zero as well. So you can make up whatever different number you like. These would be fantastic for making a date as your title, uh, for birthday projects, lots of different things. You could even save them and use them for your December album project at the end of the year as well. Uh, I might even grab an extra pack myself for just that reason. So I love that they're vellum, so you can see through these numbers, so you can layer them together on a page. That would look lovely. And um, I just love these. They're a great size, four and a quarter inches tall and about two inches wide. So they are the v Margot vellum numbers. We also have this little pack here. I'll just tick, tick those out. All right, so these are gorgeous. We have these tiny little mini chul pom-poms. How cute are they? So we've got some white ones, some soft pink ones, and that gorgeous minty blue. We also have three little mini wide paper clips in white. So they are super cute. I can't wait to use these. They are the uh, mini chul pom-poms and mini wide paper clips. All right, let's see what else is in this kit. All right, here we have the cut apart sheets. I don't think we've had these before. So these are two by two inch squares. So you've got uh, nine squares on each sheet and lots of fun different designs that coordinate perfectly together. So on this sheet here, we have some stripes, this little frame, we've got some gingham, floral, a grid, cute smiley face, my favorite things. We've got a rainbow and some polka dots and the words lucky me. So that's that one. The other sheet we have here has this pretty heart. We've got the word remember, floral. We've got a speech bubble, some stars, a little set of uh, labels. You could cut these apart or use them as is. We've also got some more polka dots down here with the red background, another grid and the word today. So you could even just use that as it is on your project or cut them up and use a whole mix of them to create some sort of fun grid or whatever you like. There's so many things you could do with these. So they are the cut apart sheets. All right, here we have the Margot Library Pockets pack. So we get six library pockets included in this pack along with six coordinating labels. So they fit perfectly onto those little library pockets. I love that. You could even use multiples of those if you wanted to and you can mix and match whichever color you want on any on either of the 
uh, pockets. So we have three black and white with the polka dot, the gingham and the stripes. And then we have three colored pockets with this really beautiful coral colored gingham. Uh, we have a smaller floral pattern and this gorgeous floral pattern here with that uh, minty blue background. We have the coral color and two other shades of pink in the labels, a black one, a green one and another of those aqua blue colors. Uh, so the journaling cards fit perfectly inside our pockets here as you can see fits perfectly in there and these are just going to be so perfect for any project you can think of mini albums uh, you could even um, attach them all together and pop, pop things inside there for some hidden journaling uh, on your traveler's notebook spreads layouts whatever you can think of so they are the margot library pockets Okay, here we have the Margot journaling cards. As always, there are 12 cards included in the pack. On the reverse, we either have the grid or the dot grid, nice and neutral. You can use them for so many things, but I love the patterns on the front. So let's take a closer look. This one here, it's got this uh, section in the middle that says, remember this, but we also have these other colors. You could either leave them just like that, add some stitching, add some embellishments or some stamping. That's a really fun card. All right, we also have these thin multicolored lines. We've got this beautiful blue gingham card. This one here, the coral background with the soft pink hearts. I love this floral one here, absolutely gorgeous. The floral at the bottom with this white section that you can add your journaling to. You can even turn that upside down as well. We have this one here with the blue background and white polka dots. And there's a white section at the bottom there for adding some journaling to. This one here has a soft pink background with a large heart in the center. We've got 2022 here. I love that it's got the mix of kit colors there. We've got a blue grid here with chapter number three for March. This one, perfect for journaling. We have the best part at the top there and then lots of lines there for your handwritten journaling. Or you could run that one through the printer if you're confident doing that. I love this. You could use this one to add a list to your project or you could cut this one up to use them as individual labels as well. That's really fun with those colors. And our last card here is a grid, very subtle grid. Nice and neutral and versatile. So they are the Margot journaling cards. I love these, such a great mix. Next up, we have the Margot die cut shapes. There are 23 pieces included in this pack. And as you can see, they are just so pretty. We have these gorgeous florals over here. Love these with this little leaf as well, a leaf stem. Uh, we have a little blue heart there. We've got a tab here with that lovely blue as well. And we've got a lovely mix of labels too. A couple more hearts here. We've got the green background and the soft pink background. We've got this really pretty bow here with the cream and the blue accents. We've got this blue scalloped piece as well. The words Hello Spring. We've got two tags here. I love that it has the ribbon slot at the top there. Perfect for slotting your ribbon through there. Uh, so we have a gingham and a floral tag. We've got Margot herself and this super cute journaling spot. I love that. You can... Uh, Add your handwritten journaling to that one, add an embellishment to the side. That would be fun too. So, so cute. All right, so they are the Margot die cut shapes. All right, the last item I have to show you from the Margot kit is, of course, the paper pack. As always, we have the packaging strip on the front here that's made up of smaller versions of each of the papers included. So this is perfect to cut up and use on your project. So try and keep that and use it whenever you can. All right, let's take a look at these beautiful patterns. This first one here, the floral, absolutely speaks for itself. It is gorgeous. Perfect for fussy cutting or using as it is. On the reverse, we have this black and white hearts pattern. And then on that branding strip, we have a coral honeycomb pattern. This next paper here is called daisies. So we have the soft pink background with the daisies pattern on it, very subtle. And on the back, we have these diagonal green stripes. The branding strip on that one is these different colored spots. Our next one is that really gorgeous blue with the scallops pattern. On the reverse, we have some tulips with that soft pink background and the coral tulips on top. And the branding strip on this one is that lovely soft blue gingham. 
loving this next one this is going to be a favorite of mine just a simple notebook paper with the lines on it love that on the reverse we have some more spots and the green branding strip with some polka dots on it as well this next one here is a lovely soft pink it's called tiny dots and yes they are very tiny i'm not sure if you can see that there but the lovely soft pink background another perfect subtle pattern on the reverse we have the green honeycomb pattern and then that branding strip is a lovely soft pink scallop this one here is called grid in all the kit colors another really versatile paper on the reverse we have this diagonal gingham pattern this is going to be one of my favorites i love it already and that branding strip is these multicolored stripes love that too as always we have our two solid color papers included in the kit so they always have this scallop on the branding strip section which you can either cut off and use as an accent on your page or you could cut that branding strip uh, off the other end and have that as a 12 by 12 piece with the scallop at the bottom or on the side, whatever you like. So the colours, this uh, paper pack, we have the coral with that soft pink on the other side. And then we have that gorgeous green and that really pretty aqua on the back, lovely blue. All right, so that is the Margot paper pack. All right, there are also a couple of add-ons available in the shop and you'll find these in the Margot section. We have a traveler's notebook insert. There's also an A5 notebook available in the same pattern, uh, but this is a traveler's notebook insert. It has the lovely square corners, beautiful quality white paper. I love this paper on the inside. So um, that's the traveler's notebook insert. But we also have something new this month, which I'm really excited about. These are the My Memories notebooks, and they come in a set of two. So they are nine and a half by seven and a half inches in size. And they have that same gorgeous quality paper on the inside. This is going to be so fun to use and try this new size out. I can't wait to use these. So um, they are the My Memories notebooks. You get two of them in the pack, definitely give them a try. All right, so that is our March Felicity Jane Margot kit. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what is included in the kit this month. Uh, you can find everything in the Felicity Jane store. I will leave a link below for you for that. If there was only a few things that you wanted, you can buy most of these things individually in the shop. So you'll find them in the Margot section. Uh, just go and check them out and you can grab uh, all of these things there. Don't forget about the Traveler's Notebook inserts. There's also the A5 notebook and the brand new My Memories notebook in that fantastic new size I can't wait to use that um, but I cannot wait to bring you some projects using this kit very soon but that is it from me today I look forward to seeing you then um, thanks for joining me today have a good one bye